Hey guys, welcome back. You know who we are, hopefully. Um, so, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, the book. The guy is pretty popular, Robert Kiyosaki. As some of you may have seen him on YouTube Shorts, Instagram. He talks a lot about debt, saving gold, buying crypto, and his theories and his his financial teachings are very interesting and different from maybe the rest of the crowd, even the Grant Cardones and um, Dave Ramsey, especially. There's, I feel like there's a little bit of a different twist to it when he talks about debt, as far as he values debt solely because he understands that money is debt because it's being printed. So it's an interesting perspective that he has and his teachings are very interesting but he's off obviously successful in what he does but i just wanted to bring him up kirby and see you know what your thoughts were on, on as far as buying and saving gold buying crypto because it's you know it goes against the dollar um and you know his views on debt as far as he's trying to get as much debt as he possibly can you know, rather than trying to worry about, um, you know, how much capital he has, he actually wants more debt so that he can continue to buy assets. So, I don't know, what were, what are your thoughts on his teachings? Uh, first off, I want, I want to make this abundantly clear. Um, the Grant Cardones, all the social media people that talk about debt, they stole that idea from Robert Kiyosaki. Let's just throw it out first. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki alluded to it uh, one time that these people are repeating what they what I'm saying, and he's right. So all these people that talk about getting in debt and all that, it started with Robert Kiyosaki. Rich Dad, Poor Dad changed lives and the concept of money banking for millions of people. And I know everybody's going to say, oh, I got that book in the house. Most people ain't read it. Because if most people read it, we will be we will have more influ uh, high uh, affluent people. Uh, what I mean is upper middle class people and things like that if they just understood it now going back to Robert his his philosophy is something that I had to get used to because of course I was the Dave Ramsey I was part of the Dave Ramsey cult uh, you know no debt no debt no debt no debt you know I read the book Rich Dad Poor Dad but I didn't really develop or understand Robert Kiyosaki's methods until I already hit over a million in that work. And then once I understood it, then I just went and grew that number to, you know, put it in an overdrive or hyperdrive compared, just understand it. But the key again, as always, no matter whose method you're using, it's always about financial literacy. But Robert Kiyosaki in general, debt is, I agree, why save money? Why save money when they're going to keep printing? I mean, value value like a baseball card like a mickey mantle or lebron james or michael jordan rookie card it's so valuable because they're so few that's why the value keeps going up now if they just printed a million more michael jordan rookie cards and a million more lebron james and mickey mantle uh, rookie cards then you know what we have now and they you know was in this original setting and all that then the value of those mickey mantles and rookie cards will be less that's the same thing with money. So his concept is spot on. It's just hard for people to understand. You know, people think when he's saying getting in debt, he's talking about just all kinds of debt. No, he's talking about debt and assets only. You know, if he want a car, he's going to, you know, refinance a property or something or have the property's cash flow pay for a car. Going to pay for a house that he lives in. He has his assets pay for his liabilities. But he's not sitting here talking about, oh, let's get into $20,000 in credit card debt, $50,000 in credit card debt, uh, taking out $50,000 to remodel a home or some crazy a home you live in. He's not talking about crazy stuff like that. So in that aspect, I agree with him. Uh, his view on gold and God's money is... It's very nuanced and I understand what it what he's saying because gold is a finite a finite object. It's it's only so much gold on earth. The more they print money, the value of the dollar goes down, but the value of the asset of gold goes up. 
and countries all around the world keeps printing money so the value of gold will continue to go up so i understand that and i agree with them and i follow along by behind silver and gold myself because of that the same thing with crypto i mean we talked about on this channel many a times five ten percent of your net worth could go into cryptocurrency because if it even if it goes bust you know you still have 90 percent of your net worth i'm all for that it's not a lot of things that robert kiyosaki say that i disagree with i mean y'all can talk about you know how he feels politically and all that i don't care about that i just care about his ideals on money but the concepts that he bring is for the people that understands the money that understands money period not understand the money understand money understand financial literacy if you don't get those points and understand that part of it then everything he's saying is going over your head and you're thinking he's crazy yeah i definitely have to give robert kiyosaki credit i mean i feel like he and dave ramsey are like the godfathers of finance but in their own different realms because obviously the financial teachings polar are opposites are yeah. polar opposites but right. obviously i mean we have talked about you know how we started and we did start with dave ramsey um mm -hmm. and i actually started with dave ramsey without even you telling me about him i just found him on youtube and but you know once we started talking and then you had recommended me reading rich dad poor dad it was a complete 180 from what dave ramsey teaches but mm -hmm. i um i think if the two are paired definitely you know the teachings are paired and they're followed correctly then you know someone can see can receive a lot of knowledge out of the both of them and create their own path for themselves or uh you know change their lives really because robert kiyosaki's way of teachings is completely different but will give you that sense of like more control over your life because the dave ramsey route i feel is maybe more you know just have a good job stick to that nine to five and then you know have have a retirement but robert kiyosaki teaches you to really open your mind and think differently about you know the world money everything and how to really be an investor so robert kiyosaki's teachings are very i mean they work for sure i was just i thought this topic was interesting because the uh the topic of debt confuses so many people and especially the way he teaches about it like he is after just getting debt and most people like they laugh at him because he mentioned in a recent video in an interview i think with uh, vlad tv that he has 1.2 billion dollars in debt and people don't understand though that imagine how many assets you can buy with 1.2 billion dollars and i think he's at 11,000 units or something now which is insane mm -hmm. but it was just an interesting topic I thought of talking about, but don't know if you got any more thoughts on this. Yeah, um, I th I think the Dave Ramsey, I think Dave Ramsey and Robert Kiyosaki goes hand in hand. I'm just using it for my life. Uh, Dave Ramsey getting out of, and that's the thing. Everybody, everybody's no matter whose financial plan you're using, it always start off with living on less than you make. No matter how they explain it, it always starts off with living less than you make. Most people are already in debt. So listen to Dave Ramsey's baby steps one to three are spot on. So you got to get out of all that consumer debt and all that and have a, a foundation, have, you know, reserve set aside in case things go wrong in your personal life and your business life. Dave Ramsey is 100% correct on that. And then for me, after, you know, step, you know, five, six, seven, then you can start, you know, moving into more of the Robert Kiyosaki method, but only bringing in debt that buys assets. I mean, me, I'm nowhere near uh, Robert Kiyosaki's debt limit. My debt's only like 1.2 million, but I'm nowhere near the billions, and I don't plan on getting nowhere near the billions uh, no time soon and buying properties, but I understood it. I mean, at first, I was sitting there, if I had $20,000 in debt, I was like, oh, God. I mean, even if it's on like a rental property, I'm sitting there like, I got to hurry up and pay it off. Like, that's why a lot of the first rental units I bought, they're already paid off because I was just so scared of debt. Then I got more warmed up to it and understanding how finances work and how cash flow works and how the cash flow will uh, service the debt and everything else. Now I'm cool with taking on debt when it comes to buying assets all day of the week. Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, with all that being said, guys, though, if you have any questions or comments on either of the two, let us know down below. We'd love to hear your opinion. Uh, don't forget to share this video, like the video, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.